My name is Paul Yuskovich. I'm an associate professor in radiology, and I've worked on this ITK SNAP software for 10 years at least now. So uh, just to start, uh, I'd like to acknowledge the funding for uh, ITK SNAP developments from NIBIB, from the NIH. So what's ITK SNAP? It's an interactive tool for labeling various structures in three d medical image volumes, both anatomical structures and pathological structures. It's free, it's open source, and it runs on three different operating systems, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. And when we designed it, our primary vision was to create a tool that's easy to use for people who are not graduate students in the computer science department. One of the things we always try is to minimize the feature creep in terms of if we want to stay focused on the mission of image segmentation and not add too many different algorithms that might uh, make it too hard to learn. So a little bit on the history of this tool. It started in, at the end of the 90s as a series of computer programming projects in the CS department at UNC Chapel Hill. And they were led by uh, Guido Gehrig, who had the vision for this tool. He was one of my uh, PhD advisors there. And then when I was finishing my PhD, we put together a small proposal to integrate it into what was coming out then out of the National Library of Medicine called the Insight Toolkit or ITK, and this is a C++ library of routines for medical image processing. It's a very rich library that covers many, many uh, aspects of image processing, and so we sort of integrated these two tools. I've been maintaining this tool ever since, and this year we released a new uh, version of this that's pretty major, release 3.x or 3.0, and then right now we have 3.2 as a completely new uh, user interface and a lot of new features uh, for multimodality data. So, for example, T1, T2, Flare, MRI. And we've also been developing some companion tools like Convert3D. So, just by the numbers, it's been 15 years in development. I, I've lost track of lines of code, so I just put 100,000 plus. <laughs> A couple thousand downloads a month and quite a few citations. And there's been more than 20 people who have contributed code to this tool. Okay, so more on the course itself. So these are some of the things that we hope you'll be able to do by the end of the course. Some of them are quite basic. Visualizing through the image volume, labeling anatomical structures and lesions in uh, images both manually and semi-automatically, then editing your semi-automatic segmentations using 3D tools as well as 2D tools, and then performing some simple image processing uh, tasks using this companion Convert3D or C3D tool. And in general, for additional resources, you can go to itksnap.org, and the website has some additional tutorials. The documentation for C3D is also on the same website, just slash C3D. And we have a mailing list. This is session one installation. So the objectives of this session are that you'll have a copy of the data folder on your desktop. You'll have ITK Snap 3.2 installed, be able to launch it, and also have a copy of Convert 3D installed. We already mentioned that the data package contains software, image data, and copies of handouts and slides. And so uh, let's go ahead and do the installation exercise. And there's a handout for each operating system. So if you go to exercise 1A or 1B or 1C, 1A is for Mac, 1B is for Windows, and 1C is for Linux. And it'll take you through the installation of both ITK Snap and C3D 